This video is going to walk you through the exercises that we'll do during your multi-engine training and the exercises that you will have to perform on your flight test. As always, a flight test isn't always about flying the airplane, and so there are a couple of ground items we're going to have to cover in this training, and those are outlined in exercises 1, 2, and 3. You can pause the screen if you want to review all of these ground items. However, the best way to prepare for this is, of course, with your aircraft POH. So if you don't already have a copy of that, and if you already haven't at least started reviewing it, I highly recommend that you do that before you even start the in-flight training. Even though the flight test guide doesn't organize the exercises in this way, I'm going to look at the air exercises in four different categories, including normal, which includes the takeoff, the circuit, and the landing, the control exercises, which are going to focus on controlling the aircraft in different phases of flight, the drill exercises, which are more going to be focused on the engine failure exercises, and the emergency exercises, which are going to focus on checklist use. So exercises four and five, I slotted under normal flight conditions. So these are the things that you would normally do when you're flying the multi-engine. The control exercises are intended to make sure that you have a good handle on the airplane and you can maneuver at reduced airspeed, recognize a stall in both clean and dirty configurations, and also do a steep turn. The drill exercises are conducted in two parts. The first one is the engine failure in cruise flight and maneuvering with one engine and operative. And then the second one is engine failure during a simulated overshoot. The emergency exercises include a precautionary engine shutdown, of course simulated, for example, if you were to have an engine fail in cruise flight, as well as an arrival approach and landing with one engine in operative. And then of course you have the emergency procedure checklists, which can be done on the ground. So in addition to reading the operating handbook, I do recommend that at least really early on, if not before your training, you get yourself a copy of the multi-engine flight test guide. It's a very clear indication of what you're going to be graded on and will give you a good idea of what to expect.